Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, today we'll be making this alternate mangzi dress. It's a gypsy dress. It has an alternate with this, with the, with a collar. So, I have here six sizes of fabric here with me. This is a car fabric CC. I've got finished cutting it, but this is CC as well. Yes, you will be needing this CC as if you want it really full and lengthy. So, I have here six sizes of fabric, and I just have three hours to make this dress. This person is coming to pick up, pick it up this morning. She's going for a video. She didn't even remind me that she's still going to use the dress. I totally forgot it. She just called me up now that she's coming to pick it up. So, I'll just rush and make this story as short as I can. And yes, I just. So I've drafted it out already. Here I've got I'll take you through the lines. I've not done the ankle cover and everything. Here is her under boss is 15 plus two inches that is 17. So I'll mark 17. After this is the her under boss UB. Um, sorry, these are half lengths. H L. These are UB under boss, these boss points, and these are chest line. So you also place to get your under boss that is 15 inches. Then her under boss. Uh, the her boss points I came down by 11 inches but if you don't know this thing you can go up from her, her underboard depending on your boss size if your boss is around 35 36 you can go up by 3 inches or 3.5 inches but if your boss is around 39 to 40 but you can go up by 4 inches that is to get your boss points this works very well for me and I've been using it so after that the next thing is to take your nipple to nipple her nipple to nipple is um her nipple to nipple sorry let me check her nipple to nipple is seven seven divided by by two is three point five then one inch half inch for joining so i should have four inches so look at what you're going to have is four inches so i'll take that four inches up to her boss point up to her boss point i'll just extend this up just line but if you don't want to extend it you can just leave it so i'll take it then i'll connect it with a straight line connect it with a straight line so here it is the next thing is to take your so to do your neck with the neck width that you want to use the neck width that is a doctor neck for this thing so i'm taking three inches for her neck width three inches neck width for the back i'll use one inch for for the depth i'll use three inches three by three so you connect it so let me just roll it this way and connect it So I'll just give it a cup. And here is the back neckline. Here is the front and the back neckline. So the next thing is to uh, connect your shoulder slope. So I went down by one inch for her shoulder slope. So here is the shoulder slope. So the next thing is to, I'm adding a dot to this. The next thing is to get the midpoint. After everything, just get the midpoint. I have 4.5. So 4.5 divided by 2, whatever you have is your midpoint. So you just connect this line. Just connect this line to your boss point. I'll connect it to her boss point this way. So this is what I have. Then I'll get the midpoint of her ankle. The midpoint of her ankle. Get the midpoint of your ankle. So this is what I have. The next thing is to take my dart, my dart intake. I'm going to take one inch outward and one inch inward. I will do the same thing to the under boss. One one inch. Then I'll also be so from the boss point I'll come down by half inch. So I'll connect this line this way. I'll connect it this way. I'll also connect this one this way. And the next thing is to connect this way. I'll play the way I can in it out. Like come out very well. So this is it. So the next thing is to so the next thing is to use my curve ruler and do the this on the boss and connect this to give it a princess that line so i'll take from here and connect this way i'll connect it this way you can determine the wideness if you want to take care if it's up to one you can determine it so i'll just roll it this way i have something like this which this is not even necessary because i'm not going to be using it needing it also so the next thing is to draft out the alternate before we now do our before we now do our final that so here because um i don't want her boobs I, I don't want to expose much boobs she's a married woman she's a mother so i'll go down by five inches or six inches sorry five inches then i'll connect it this will really not expose your boobs that much so the next thing i'll go is take seven inches or six inches let's say six to six point five 
inches. I'll take this one five inches. This is where my hotter neck is. So to get the hotter neck, it depends on how tight you want it. You can come down by one inch, then draw it, or you can just take your measure. You can come down by one inch. Let's say this one inch from here. Now you go down by one inch, then connect it. Remember that you're going to cross this line, so connect it this way, or you can just from this line now cross it to this point. But the first thing is to take out your boss measurement. Her boss is thirty eight. Her boss measurement is thirty eight. That is nine point five. I'll take 9.5. So then I'll connect my armhole curve. I'll do my armhole curve. I'm not going to curve it too much. So here is my armhole curve. So the next thing is to I want to dart it first. I want to connect it to the dotted line before connecting it. So this is it. So if I like it, I can now draw it very well. But let me check coming down by one inch i'll also touch it with these dotted lines and see the one that i want to use but here is the line that i want to use so i'll connect this very well so this is the line that we'll have here so the next thing is to so here is now so here is now our so remember that what that is going to stop here and this one stops here and this one stops here so we have to do the underboss tightening we have to do the tightening here so that you don't have any gap, gaping at your armhole so here i'll from this dart line now i'll go I'll, I'll go in by half inch then also another half inch so i'll now connect it this will be my new dart line this will be my new dart line so this is my new dart line this one is my new dart line and another thing now for you not to run short page, I'm going to extend this by. It is better not to run short. It's better to have uh, excess than running short page. So I'm going to do this. Then this will be my new armhole. So if it's, the excess is much, I can thin it out. So this is the new armhole. That is the new armhole. And this now also be the new that line. This one is no longer and more. So you remember you went down by half inch here. I'm going to take one inch. So this now will be my new new line for this. This one, will be, this one will now also be my new line for this. I'll copy it because I don't want it to be connected. So the next thing now is to take your measurements. Oh, this is the cutting the final the front cutting sorry that i didn't know that my phone has stopped recording when i was cutting it so i didn't really get the i didn't really record the recording sorry i didn't really record the cutting so the next thing is to get the keyhole so from that neck you go down by i went down by four inches then draw the the circle that you want or any how you want it to look this is you should cut if it's on your fabric it should be on four so this is just one piece you may not really see it until i finish cutting it on the fabric so the next thing is to draft out the back here i'm not going to use the princess that on the back i'm just going to use um our normal straight that so everything should be the same get your shoulder length get your arm oh please the front and the back everything should be equal so that you don't run shortage you don't end up the same neck width and uh, the depth is one inch please remember that you're going to bring out your zipper allowance i didn't bring out my zipper allowance here because of um the pattern paper is not enough so I, from here too i went down by five inches then i came in by um, I measured six, inch, uh, 6 inches then I got the bust measurement her waist and uh, I took in my dart measurement the dart length is 10 inches from the upper part you measure 10 inches down. then half half inch please remember to uh, replace your dart and everything whatever intake of that you are using you remember to replace it and the neck with and please before cutting the neck um, um, make sure you measure it before cutting it uh, so that you will know when you're attaching your your band so that you will know how much to um attach so here is the wording we are going to cut the wording from the underboss you go up by this is the center front you go up by seven inches but don't let it get to that your keyhole 
line so go down from your keyhole go down by one inch don't allow your your word um get to your keyhole so the same thing with this one from here you go up by seven from the other part you go up by seven inches then the whiteness should be like four inches then you curve it the way you feel like to be very okay it mustn't cut exactly the way i'm cutting so i just trim it the way i feel that it will um, cover my client's boobs very well and everything so yeah i was still trimming it to allow it to get to your armhole or to your neckline so that is just it so the next thing is to um cut it on your fabric i was trying to get the pattern so that it's so um i i was trying to get the flowers but it didn't really work so here is the center front you place it on your fabric you don't need to add any allowance because i've added allowance already or you can add the allowance on your fabric so this is what i have this is the way you are going to cut it out don't need to add any allowance to this again here is the keyhole part yeah so this is the way the keyhole will look is when i'm joining the the alternate the band the color that is when i will join it the keyhole part so the next thing i've done joining it you remember guys that I said I was rushing, so you just join it the straight way you normally join your dad. Just join it the way you join your dad. Here is the lining also. I've done the lining. I wanted to use to fa the fabric to line it, but it was not enough. So I had to use it for the center front, then black for the sides. So here is how you are going to join the keyhole. So you join, join it like that with half inch or quarter of an inch so also don't turn the neckline just turn only the keyhole here you cannot top stitch it but if you if you if you can top stitch it, it's no problem also turn the armhole turn the armhole then pull it down pull it out from the is either from the back or from the up don't join don't turn the the neckline because we are going to be adding a band so here is the back i've joined my zipper allowance i've done the that also i just used a normal straight that so this is what i have i couldn't get everything due to i was rushing so here i'm going up by one inch then slat it for the zip so that the zip can relax very well so that you will not have any budging at the back so just connect it go up by one inch then connect it slantly don't go and cut um one inch trout just one inch at the center back then you slant it to the side you don't even need to cut anything by the side because if you cut it the uh, you find out that the uh, front will be longer or the front will be longer then the back will come out shorter so the side needs to be very equal so the next thing that we are going to be cutting is the 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 damp part is just a straight cutting you don't have uh there's no much thing to do here so you know that it has two two this thing the first plate then the second plate has to play the first one and the second one so the total length of the gown is 60 in uh 60 inches so um that's 60 inches we are going to be minusing the underboss that is the half length which is 17 inches so you have like 46 left so that 46 you can choose to divide it by two or you share it um so i'm not going to be showing the fabric but just in like this is the fabric now and here is the length of the fabric so the half full length is 60 inches so that's 16 inches. I'm going to be minusing 17. That is an underboss. Once if I minus 17, her underboss, I'll have 43 left. 43 left. And they are first, first one that you're going to attack, then the last one. So after 17, I have 43. 43. So uh, I want the down part. You have two lines that you're going to attach. So I have the first line. The first line is longer than the second one. So I'm going to 
now i'll now determine how to share it so i'm going to the, the second line the first line the first line the first line will be 17 inches then this one will be 26 inches but i'm going to add plus four inches that is uh equals to 30. so this this line now will be 17 inches this one will be 30. So this one will be 30. As you mean, after my losing the underboss, here is 17, here is 30. So the next thing now, they are not going to be the same line. So it depends on how wide and the material that you have. So this one now, total of this one is going to be 1, 1, 120 to 130. And here I have the wideness, here I have 173. You just have to make it as wide as you can, especially this part if you want it to flow very well. So that is what exactly I'm, I'm going to do to this thing. So the next thing now is to, is to. So when you are done cutting it, you now for the double for the the down part. Then here you are going to gather it with a loose stitch. Then start drawing it. Gather it with a loose stitch and then draw it. So you start drawing until you get to. So this, this second line, now you are going to draw the upper part, the waist of this thing. After joining this thing, you draw this first line, you draw the first line to be the face of the waist of your gown. So um, I wanted to add a pocket to this, but I won't be adding a pocket because I'm just rushing this thing. See, the owner is calling me already. So I will not just, I'll just turn this side.